the People's National Party demands immediate clarity from the government regarding the chartered flight that recently landed in Jamaica in breach of applicable immigration and customs protocols. We are calling on the government to disclose the origin, destination, and apparent purpose of the flight. God, I got a rising legend. Represent for Talk Your Mind TV. If you love Talk Your Mind TV, bet me a rest. Say God, I God. Talk Your Mind TV. Anything them say, God here. And anything them do, God say. Before them even think at him, know what them. War go on, Jamaican. War go on, my diatid viewers and subscribers. War go on, diatid Jamaican. You don't see War go on. You don't see the Jamaica win hijack. Honestly, Jamaica has been hijacked, my viewers and subscribers. This plain load of terrorists with the Jamaican government allow for coming in at the island. Pre-book hotel room. In a hotel. Pre-book hotel room, my viewers and subscribers. These terrorists will come upon this plane. I get for understand, say. The American government is interested in two of the passengers. But may I say, why them never make the plane refill a Jamaica and go land in a JFK Kennedy Airport in America? Where them could have just hold on pan, who they want hold on pan? Why them put up the Jamaican government to allow these terrorists to roam the street of Jamaica just like that? And the local people, they matter about shower, shower, and the sister, and the life is in jeopardy. And the sister, the said pattern we go on in America with those terrorists who enter their style illegally. And the sister, Andrew Wallace set up Jamaica. Andrew Wallace put Jamaica between a rock and a hard stone. And you see that? I tell you, you know, you don't need to get out Andrew Wallace before an election. On a need to get out Andrew Holness before an election. Andrew Holness must leave power ASAP. Andrew Holness must come out of power ASAP. I tell you, you no, must not wait for an election. Jamaica has been hijacked. If, hey, a matter of fact, you see, I go make one here. What this young lady I say, I'm wanting to observe the images we are going to display upon the screen with these terrorists who should have detained somewhere and roam the street of Kingston like tourists. When I remember just the other day how much pipe bomb come in at Jamaica, when I forget about it. I remember the other day, one jugs plane come land around uh, St. Elizabeth and then burn it out. I remember, I remember over Ian Fleming's airport, how much million dollars worth of coke. Them fine around there, and all now Fitz Bailey can't release a how did that carrot come. How did... Nothing we can't hear about that. I remember the next plane will land at Clarendon. The drugs playing or whatever they want to bring in on the island. Only this is the Jamaica under attack. Only this now for the jail PRP and you know. Jamaica is under attack. I'm a tough fuck. You listen to this and watch. Just, just observe the images. When I go see the terrorists, them who come off of this plane. 400 admirers have come and the news released at 218. Look at this. These are the news coming out of Jamaica. Apparently, Friday evening. A flight from Uzbekistan, from Dubai. It's a Uzbekistan flight, an Indian uh, flight. It land in a Norman Manly airport, right? They never have no flight manifesto that was sent forward. The flight was what you'd call an illegal flight. So I work at Pearson Airport. airport for a little over a year and when i work there i know when the flight is going out you have to have a flight manifesto you also have to get approval of the airport that you're landing in prior to landing when you're coming in they have to know that you're coming in so 
whenever the flight is is supposed to land they'll tell you that they'll give you clearance for it to land they'll tell you where to dock all of them things there nothing like that was done but them come the flight come illegal and it come with 200 and odd indian nationals from uzbekistan and apparently they come and they're illegal but guess what they were allowed to go into a hotel that was pre-booked so they didn't get um they didn't get approval from the airport's authority but yet they pre-book a hotel you hear this how 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 in his which country which country with good national security is gonna allow is gonna allow a flight with 200 and odd people to land to land in their country without without any kind of permission and here it is one of the person is of is a security concern but that never take the cake that not take the cake yet here's what takes the cake they were allowed to leave the airport they were allowed to go to the hotel news media is return is reporting that when they went down to downtown kingston they could see some of the indian nationals buying food doing the things that tourists do taking pictures and just generally enjoying themselves and even some of the indian nationals no, mommy, left that uzbekistan mommy they're my asian actually they're my asian mm -hmm. okay so it has something to do with the uzbekistan and they're my asian or whatever and some of the people them that land illegally has already left the hotel in a which country you know first of all if you go to the u.s and your flight is illegal then first i only lock you down and turn you around same thing with your son in canada why this happening in jamaica why this happening in jamaica isn't this a national concern like who forget 9 11 who does this please that is not 9 11 yes but the flight still allow for come without without it's an illegal flight you live you, you allow the people and for going to the, in the, in the hotel you know clear all of that and who are what the people them and them just allow for just go out and just do touristy things i don't know what their thought process is uh, why them land in jamaica lived, lived through covid during the time uh, uh, that that it was happening in, in jamaica it happened because our culture, our people are trained to let tourists do no matter what. So my viewers and subscribers, you know, hear what she has say. Tell me what I honestly believe about this 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 hijack this terrorist plane that come in Jamaica. This uh, unidentified terrorist plane where they allow for the land. I allow these terrorists to roam the street of downtown Kingston. And them own. I'm telling you, there's only a problem in the Jamaican people. This has nothing to do with PNP. This has nothing to do with JLP. This is a Jamaican problem. This is a crisis. I'm telling you, there's need to get rid of Andrew Wallace before an, 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 an election. There's no need to amend some law and remove Andrew Wallace. As a matter of fact, I want to know here where out of the road of the say, pretending to this thing here. I want to hear this. Yeah, man, in a over, man, me I tell you, say, which part of the earth Jamaican could have taken a plane and go land in nobody country? You go to prison till you fuck, or then lock you up and have you under detention, but you take a plane and come in a people country. Jamaica should have be a place for visa, request visa, because you can come here and get a wife, you can come here and get a piece of land. You know, this is the place of opportunity. You understand me? Free wood and water, light, everything. Eh? Benefits there for them. All gold there. You understand me? And people cannot barge in power like that and we can't go nowhere. But they can't take everybody except Jamaica. No, Canada can't send our ganja come here. Container ganja come here. Can they get gold from over here? Who is fuck is we? Eh? 
The government where you have blood clot control, you know, control, you know, so, you know, so, I move like a, some big pussy girl, I send in everybody in you know, your hole, like say, you know, you know, you know. So, my viewers and subscribers, I know here where all the road I say, so let me know what you're thinking in the comment section, but I think this is a planting by the Jamaica Labour Party. Same like how pipe bomb just automatically appear in Jamaica. I see him so this unidentified plane just appear in Jamaica. And the government allow these people to walk up and down downtown and waterfront and take picture and buy things. And now I see them a put out news say them a pack them up for send them off. My viewers and subscribers, anything these people come for do, them already do it. Anything these people come for do in Jamaica, them already do it, them job done. We need to hold Andrew Onis accountable. Andrew Wallace, if you come out and talk about this, how can he make a, 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 an, a, an identified plane come land at the airport? What well, the best thing we should do is refuel them and make them go where they go. If America want my people to make them go foreign go land, make them go America, JFK, Kennedy Airport go land. My viewers and subscribers, Jamaica is a problem. I want to look a stink more dieted later, right? And I need to come off of social media and go find something constructive to do in your life. As a matter of fact, I want to hear what Angela Brunberg have to say to this big nose Prime Minister where I set up Jamaica and Jamaica people life. The Prime Minister had the biggest trip to Jamaica. And the first I would know that I realize it's better for we hear some Angela Brunberg. The People's National Party demands immediate clarity from the government regarding the chartered flight that recently landed in Jamaica in breach of applicable immigration and customs protocols. We are calling on the government to disclose the origin, destination and apparent purpose of the flight, the identity of the individuals or organizations responsible for chartering the flight, why the flight was allowed to land in Jamaica without proper clearance, why the passengers were allowed to disembark and permitted to enter the island, why standard immigration and customs procedures were not followed in the matter. We also want to know the whereabouts of the 218 persons allegedly on board and what is to be done about their continued presence in Jamaica, as well as what measures are being taken by the JCF to ensure the safety and security of the passengers and the Jamaican public. Jamaicans will recall that during the COVID-19 pandemic, many Jamaicans were denied entry into the country, forced to wait in limbo on cruise ships and generally subject to strict protocols. And more recently, the Haitians have been repeatedly refused entry into Jamaica and summarily returned to a war-torn Haiti. The difference in treatment of the passengers on this flight is stark and demand answers so my viewers and subscribers i want to hear what angela brown have to say so the prime minister need to come explain this remember as me say pipe bomb just appear in a jamaica no one plane load of terrorists just up just just, just just appear in a jamaica and them didn't them let them get free access to go room downtown kingston Anything these people come to Jamaica for do, they already do it last night. They want to know human trafficking to go on. I just I want to know human traffic, trafficking to go on. I just I want my viewers and subscribers, what if a human trafficking to go on? What if a some form of human trafficking in the pan? I don't tell me what I think in the comment section, but a matter of fact, I want to hear what the GEA say and tell me what I think. Hear this. Talk to man. Big up yourself, my brother. Every time. You know, me have a thing I really want to share and I really want to talk about the things, my brother. Because, you know, me die, I go and think about nothing, you know. Where you have these politicians in Jamaica. I have to talk about Jamaica because I ask my brother. And when you think about it, all them people are evil and wicked, brother. The man them raise them pay. Eh? Them can't survive off a of feed them pay where they make. So they have to increase it for me, feed them demand. And when you think about it, a millions them I get. 
Eh? Can you imagine how much money these politicians get in for their pay? And when you think about it, the normal citizens look at their minimum wage. Eh? How if a politician can survive off of the millions that they are getting? How the normal people survive off of the thousands, the small thousands that they are getting? Eh? This is totally madness, brother. Madness. And these politicians, they should also get the pay based on what they are doing. Not because they are politicians, they think that they should be paid well. Because they are servants of the people. They need to get the people's job done first before they can get their um, increase. And they are not even so smart either. Because if they were smart, then they set the country in a way that everybody could prosper. And then after they prosper, then they take their increases. Then nobody would have any issue with that. But you have a country that is struggling so hard and the politicians they take like 300 percent increase if i'm not wrong huh? this is madness brother total madness they're all crazy i think they're doing something maybe on drugs or something you never know you have a man where him are the security minister and when you think about it him supposed to be the one to bring down crime and you check his constituency and man as a jamaica i don't even have to mention it but most people know what's happening in his constituency and yet you call yourself a security minister man you guys are all an embarrassment they keep bragging they keep boasting how jamaica economy is doing well but yet we as a people, the, 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 the working class people, we can't ever see it, we can't ever feel it. But yet they brag and boast every day. That's what Jamaica economy is doing well and everybody's all right. That's a goddamn lie. Because most of us as Jamaican here, we are not doing well. Especially when it comes to finances. It's only God alone know how we survive day in, day out. You check the limit, a person getting 15,000 as minimum wage. And when you go to the grocery store, oh my God, you can't have 15,000, can't ever do nothing. You can't ever reach a grocery store if you should rely on a 50,000. 15, sorry, 15,000, I mean. How are you going to rely on that? When you have to be paying bus fare or taxi fare and purchasing lunch if you don't have to cook from home. This is total madness and they all take it for a joke. They all take it for a joke because the last time I recall I hear the Prime Minister said if we want them to perform well, they should be getting good pay out of order. This is some of the things that we are talking about in Ataki, man. Jamaican borders, they are open. And Jamaica gladly accepting people in you don't know if these people are terrorists or what you don't know the agenda why they are here and they just leave them in like this my god yet our prime minister said they need uh, more more money for the pay so that they could work pretty well but there you go again people who are not supposed to be in jamaica is in jamaica and they authorize them to stay Hmm. My God, my God. So, on here, all over the GSM, my viewers and subscribers, and, and, and every well thinking Jamaican should be concerned at this moment. I'm not talking about PNP, I'm not talking about JLP, I'm not talking about every well thinking Jamaican supposed to be concerned now because the things that are happening in Jamaica under Michael Andrew Holness or Mr. Bramwell, it is unbelievable. And I can't believe that so this, this low-key and progressive Jamaican really I take money from the government for broadcast and mislead the people that would be a lie. I don't understand. But in the next video, this is, not a, this is, not, this, this is the next concern Jamaican advice our opinion based on what I take place in a 
free for all jamaica jamaica airspace at the airports are um, unmanned and there's no police there this is why people just are coming and i do what they want to do and you only have to go okay man the way me look at it money laundering are going with in a jamaica everything bad a jamaica then come can do it everything bad a jamaica them come because they can do anything look what look what the girl do with the, the mother and her baby why you think she do it because you know she can come and she thinks she could have come and get away with it but me want to know what is really going on right now because i'm not take the haiti and them them i send them back so how comes germany i send down indian and afghanistan now to jamaica something is really going on behind closed door so my viewers and subscribers and i see it every well thinking jamaican is concerned about this madness that take place in jamaica but you know, can't blame the prime minister you know, because i remember him come out and i say in my big forgiveness for the crime when i'm coming against the jamaican people the prison the baby the unborn the tourists the people in the mental institution everybody man a big forgiveness for then you know, see be a pipe i'm start up here all over jamaica then you know, see one plane load of tourists so up here in jamaica what next for the jamaican people them see if you know that this government here yeah, I set up their life and the quicker they know and realize that it's better for them because this prime minister set up Jamaica people them life and have some people appear furious of people them not see it but this is the next video from my next concern Jamaica and I want to hear this and tell me what I think listen yeah you guys want to sit down and turn a blind eye but turn a blind eye too long to an oppressor, the whole place get dark. The place is just dark up. Because how is it that a plane can land? It have no manifesto. Nobody know about no, none of them people here. And them get to book hotel, go in a hotel and them up about the place. And 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 then I got you no security. What what kind of foolishness is this? So you know the pigeon I got always have. One message. So Mr. Andrew Wellness. We're not fighting for foreigners. We're not fighting for white people, we're not fighting for Indian people, we're not fighting for nobody. We left them area come to fill area. We know say the process when they have to go through to reach here, it involves money. And money will reach back to us. And we get to put it back in our country. We get to put it back in our place. So no matter things so, so if you find out one reason to make people skip some steps and put the money in your pocket, that the people are talking about me talk about day and night, you know, day and night. Mr. Andrew only is gonna sell the land from under on a foot and on a top blind on a yai to the little things I'm gonna get to witness. If the man can do such things brawling so imagine what you don't know what am I do. Imagine the man have no integrity. This man has no integrity and no love for the Jamaican people. Hmm? None whatsoever. Right? This man have almost three hundred and not even like one private jet. With five people, almost 300 people get to come here undocumented. Eh? And when the PNP people tell you, know, say, certain people are gonna feel the richness, and one are gonna stay in a poverty, and when they lick on you, know, when they realize, you know, gonna get bitter and angry because you're know, gonna be betrayed. Uno go say the man trick uno, and then uno want come back uno open up uno eyes, people. Eh? Open uno eyes, right? Me have a company internet for this. What kind of Jamaica really around? Who around the country? Who around the country? Right? Who is running the country, guys? On a need to open up on your eyes, ask on yourself certain questions. 
How is it that the plane land? What kind of information? What kind of links? Them could have have to go through airport without a manifesto, without certain documents. What kind of links? L like, ask on yourself certain questions. Just ask on yourself, no? You know, take you know, take care of the university to have common sense, you know? You know, take care of the travel the world to have common sense. Just think, question yourself. Don't question nobody. Don't listen to nothing. A simple question. What kind of links? You could have a land one. You know I'm playing big. You know I'm playing big. Eh? You know I'm playing big and heavy. Eh? You know how much kind of process you have to go through to make sure certain things not happen. And this big old playing land poops in a Jamaica. And everybody clear. And they have them hotels here. Some of them run off already. And them run off with them millions. And them are going to get free land. To get business in a year land. And the money when them would appear. So it could have go back in the government pocket. So the government could have put it back in the country. So we could have a better life. That the process has skip over. And somebody pocket is grease. And you are going to feel it. Because anything happening in Jamaica. We have to pay back it. Anything happening in Jamaica, and the poor I feel it. Every way possible, we are going to feel it now. We pack it. We are going to feel it now. We art. We are going to feel it every way possible. So please, my people, 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 me not, me not tell no who or it go. Ask on yourself. Oh, I'm playing Nana Jamaica. What kind of links them could I have? That's it. Mm -mm. Me tell mm -mm. So my viewers and subscribers, no care if the plane I leave back now, tomorrow, next week, next month or next never. For the simple fuck of the matter said land without a manifesto. This illegal plane land. And these passengers could have able to come out. And they don't a Kingston waterfront. Like tourists. A buy and spend with a pre-book hotel and Jonas need to come out of parliament now some legislation of the past for we get rid of him before an election that is the motto if they put every well-thinking Jamaican lip we need to take out and Jonas before election day we need to get rid of and Jonas before election day remember my eyes are telling me you know we need to get rid of Andrew on this before election day because if we wait till election day, everything we're promising boss say, I'm going to do everything in our power to make sure say, I'm do the job for them, I'm going to do it. We don't have to stop him in our track. We don't have to stop him in our track. My viewers and subscribers, we don't tell me what we think. We don't know my motto, a God and good road. We will clean up Jamaica because Jamaica is a problem. And the Andrew Wallness and the Mr. Bramwell hand. We in a problem. And uh, yo, you see them politicians here? Yeah? We don't want no more, we don't want no, them pay no fee no Mark Golden. A prison time, you know, an asset season, a death set ago, you know. We're tired for politicians, thief up your money, and just pay one look of fine and just go enjoy the rest of money with them thief. We're done with that. A prison time, an asset seize, and sell, and the money return back to the government. The asset them for seize and sell. And the money return back in the government to help develop Jamaica. We're tired of them, this, this junk crap here, fine. We need to seize their asset and give them prison time. We need to make example of this junk or shit bag. We call themselves government, you know, the Jamaica Labour Party. We don't stink. God and good road. We we'll clean up Jamaica and get out of them a junk crap. Love God and live. God and God here. Talk to mind TV, what you mean? The artist news, artist review, and the bad.
Hardest TV channel right across the world globe. Watch this man, talk your mind TV. Watch the man, them are top TikTok. Talk your mind TV, them are at top Facebook. Talk your mind TV, them are at top Instagram. Talk your mind TV, at top YouTube. Talk your mind TV, all over the globe. From your love, talk your mind TV, but me rest say God and God. Don't subscribe to talk your mind TV and say God and God. Don't press the like button for talk your mind TV and say God and God. I will say God upon them. I want to start share and like. Talk your mind TV. You over there, please subscribe. Yeah, you pretty pretty. Yeah, me please. Me I beg you subscribe. Yes, and you in other city. Yeah, we I beg you like. Yeah, touch the share button.